All right, welcome back and welcome to something a little different uh, here this year as we're now continuing our live stream coverage of uh, this year's uh, version of the Quad City Times Big 7 as we're going to continue to follow some of our local runners and contestants and maybe you can see one of your loved ones here uh, finishing up their race on what's turned out to be a beautiful morning here, Eric. I got to thank you as well for bringing in the nice weather. I mean, again, we got to take credit for it, right? I, two weather guys <laughs> yeah. and, and here we are. We'll take the blame, sometimes we uh, get the credit and I guess last night we got the blame. Today we're taking the credit because, boy, I was up at the top of the hill uh, at Brady and Kirkwood and and that cool breeze and the cloud cover that set in right before the race started. As a runner yourself and myself, mm -hmm. I had to look last night to see how many times I've done the Bix eight times. It was just a morning I hated to miss. It was uh, perfect. Yeah, well, sometimes you got to work. Next time you'll have to switch it up with Kyle, then you can do the weather down at the start and run the race. Or, but. yeah, <laughs> or take the day off and just <laughs> yeah. run the race. Yes, yeah, I would love that. But yeah, for myself, I, I've ran in the race twice yeah. uh, within this. Uh, but obviously, uh, I try to run the Bix at least once a year, normally the week before this year hasn't happened here <laughs> yet so hopefully i can get that in soon uh but yeah 13th year that i've been involved with this and uh, every year it's just so fun fun to be a, a part of and again as these folks cross the finish line yeah i mean just I remember what goes through my mind when I'm done. I'm like, oh, finally, all that hard work has paid off. Right, right. And, yeah. and you get to that great post-race party at the Quad City Times. But, uh, you know, one thing we're doing right now, we're seeing all our local friends and family across the finish line. But even up here on Brady Street, the thing about this, this race is so inspiring. And you see the people right now. They don't have a chance to win this race. But you know what? They're out here doing it. And you know some of these people, it might have been a lifelong dream mm -hmm. for them. And they're finally hitting the streets doesn't matter what the time is they're participating they're having fun every time we get these people passing by the station they're waving they're yelling we're clapping and and just kind of cheering them on and you see a little spark in their eye that they know that they've come through six miles they're on the seventh mile and at the bottom of that hill and one more left turn they're going to see that finish line ahead of them and just like this they're going to do it and 